So this is question 11 from paper 1 of the 2015 National 5 SQA Maths exam. Simultaneous equations. 3x plus 2y equals 17. 2x plus 5y equals 4. First way we're going to do this is to eliminate the x's. It's another way of doing it. We could eliminate the y's. I'll do that later. So if that, if you're checking what you've already done, see where you went wrong perhaps, then move the video on to find the other way if this is not the way you did it. So we'll look at the x terms. 3x, 2x. We think what's the smallest number that divides by 3 and 2 exactly? We get 6. So we can make both of these equations into 6x's by multiplying the first one by 2, by multiplying the second one by 3. Now remember, two equal things. If you're doubling, you must double both sides, everything on, on, on both sides. So a couple of 3x's would be 6x, a couple of 2y's would be 4y, a couple of 17's would be 34. Similarly, this equation, two equal things, multiply both sides by 3. So 3 lots of 2x, that's 6x. 3 lots of 5y, 15y. And 3 lots of 4, 12. So we've now got 6x, 6x, and both equations. Since they're both the same, we subtract. 6x taken away from 6x, no x's. 15y taken away from 4y, that would be minus 11y. And 12 taken away from 34, that's 22. We now divide both sides by negative 11. And we get negative 2. So we we'll find that y is negative 2. So let's now put the value we found, that's y equals negative 2, into one of these equations. It doesn't matter which. So let's take the first one. 3x plus 2y equals 17. So we have 3 lots of x plus 2 lots of, we now know it's negative 2, is equal to 17. So 3x, 2 lots of minus 2 is minus 4 equals 17. Add 4 to both sides. 3x equals 21. Divide both sides by 3. x equals 7. So we've now got our two values and it'd be useful to check. The second equation is the one we never used. So 2x plus 5y, we can now check the value of that. 2 lots of 7 plus 5 lots of negative 2 that's 14 plus negative 10, or minus 10. That's 4, which is what we were supposed to get. So there's our solution. So that's one way of doing it. That's getting the x terms equal. So let's move on and uh, try to get the y terms. This is a completely different method of doing it. We should get the same solution. So 3x plus 2y equals 17. 2x plus 5y equals 4. What's the smallest number that 2 and 5 both go into exactly? Well, that's 10. So we would get 10y by multiplying the first equation by 5, the second equation by 2. Both sides get multiplied by 5. 5 lots of 3x is 15x. 5 lots of 2y is 10y. 5 lots of 17 is 85. Multiplying both sides of the second one by 2. 2 lots of 2x is 4x. 2 lots of 5y is 10y. 2 lots of 4 is 8. So we now have the same number of y's in each of them. So we'll subtract again. The only time you would add if one was positive, one was negative. So subtracting 4x from 15x is 11x. 10y from 10y disappears, 0. 8 from 85 is 70. 
h7. Divide both sides by 11. x equals 7. We now put the value we've found, x equals 7, into one of these. Let's just take the first one. 3x plus 2y equals 17. So we get 3 lots of 7 plus 2y is 17. So that's 21 is 2y equals 7 uh, plus 2y is equal to 17. Take 21 from both sides. 17 minus 21 is f minus 4. And divide both sides by 2. y equals negative 2. So these are the two values. And again, we can check using the equation that we didn't use, 2x plus 5y, check that 2 lots of 7 plus 5 lots of negative 2 is equal to 4. So there's 14, that's minus 10, and that does give us 4.